Hey y'all, my name's Tyson, and this time around, let's just model these examples uh, just as a practice exercise. So a couple weeks ago, uh, we released a video where I was showing Mindsight Studio's bevel extension. And one of the comments was, hey, can you show us how you modeled some of the examples? And so that's what we're gonna do. We do read your comments. We do appreciate your suggestions. Please keep them coming. Now, one thing I should note, um, I don't know if I gave credit in that video. Some of these examples, um, I was looking at this channel, Pixel Fondue, and this is not a SketchUp channel. This guy makes some pretty fun and engaging videos on Plasticity, Modo, some other 3D modeling software. But I think it's just kind of an interesting exercise to go out there, look at various modeling techniques and softwares and see if you can replicate it in SketchUp. So that's what I was doing and finding some of these examples from. That said, we should be a little cautious. Solids modeling and surface modeling, SketchUp is a surface modeler. Be careful in comparing them directly to each other. They're very different. Um, we can create some similar things, but they're definitely not an apples to apples comparison. So we're gonna try and replicate it. Uh, just keep that in mind. It, it's it's not, a, not always useful to directly compare software like that. All that said, let's jump in. All right, this first example should be fairly straightforward. Now, as I model this, I'm gonna just uh, talk this through from a high level, not get into very uh, detailed specifics. Um, you can also see this circle uh, right now has a radius of eight feet. I'm modeling at a big scale. These are probably smaller pieces, but as many of us know, um, modeling at a larger scale will help you with details. So this, um, I'm gonna draw a circle. I'm not worried about accuracy or how big. And I do want this to be, let's say it's 48 S, 48 sides. Offset this a little bit. Then find the center, draw a line in the green direction, then red, then back, and then find an arc, something like that. Then use a flip tool. Flip a copy of this about so that we mirror it and then I can delete what we don't need. And that's the, that's the form we need. Now, as I pull this up, what we can see is that the, the way we, we created this did create all these segments. So I may select these back edges and use my keyboard shortcut or a right click menu to weld these just so that it's clean when I pull this up. All right, triple click. I'm gonna group it and move a copy. Let me just move a copy a little bit vertically and then use the move tool to easily rotate this and flip it. And that's, that's what we need. So I can select both of these objects and use the solid tools over here to create the intersection between them. Now for uh, one of the things I like to run is Tom Tom's cleanup extension. And so I'm just cleaning these uh, and be cleaning all the models with kind of the same basic settings, the main one here. I wanna smooth out angles. Um, I think by default it's 30. I might change this to 15 just to smooth. But there we go. And if we wanted to add a bevel through the bevel extension, I come in, select this. I'm gonna run the bevel, Mindsight Studios bevel tool. Oh, that looks awful. Let me undo that and try again. And again, just we want to appreciate that um, 
the tiny little edges that we're creating and breaking up here in SketchUp operate differently than a solids modeler. Um, and we can still make it work for us in many cases, but uh, we just, we have to keep that in mind. In this case, we have this edge that's like working really close to where we broke this uh, through um, our, our cylinder, our opening here. One of the things that we could do, depending on how tight we need this shape to be, we weren't very careful on, you know, how this was created, but I could create, for example, I should be able to pull this surface out. There we go. To pull this out and that would give me enough room that the, um, the opening cut here would fall squarely within the, a flat surface. So if I did that, then rotate it, flipped it, and ran the intersection, then our results might be a little cleaner here because like say, this falls within a, a flat surface. So it just depends on what you need. If I try bring this out. And we do, we get a little bit better uh, results. So if I run cleanup again, that looks okay. Let's um, jump into this next one. Now, in this example, again, um, how this was created by, uh, in, in some of the other software, this was a series of, I believe they took a cylinder and welded it together with a couple of blocks and then cut this shape out and then cut these cylinders out. In When we look at a shape like this in SketchUp, we would probably be like, you know, we would just create this shape first. So let me find a top view, turn perspective off and do that. That's probably how we would go about creating this uh, type of thing. I think I'm still on 48 segments, which should work fine. And then create a little bit of a curve here. And then over here, again, I'll find my center and draw and I'm snapping to these points just so that they they mesh nicely but again that's because we don't have a, a, a specific accuracy we're trying to achieve here I can flip this from the top and then let's say cut that away flip this one to get the same here And um, let's extend this. Now I want to be a little bit careful. Again, we're um, getting multiple inference points. So I don't want to snap to the wrong piece, but that is how we might create this. And again, this looks larger we'd be a little more careful. Same as before, I could select various parts of this, uh, run the weld command if I wanted to clean it up a little bit. But now I can turn perspective off and then we would come in and uh, draw a half circle, cut that away, draw a half circle over here. We could copy this surface back and then cut both away and then come in and we could either create a cylinder 
uh, and use the solid tools to cut that away or we could do something like this. And again, copy it and even copy it over to here. There's always lots of ways to do anything. Um, we could have created this with more solid tools, uh, but didn't need to. All right, let's look at our last example. If we look at this one, basically we're gonna create a shape like this, and we're gonna create a shape like this, and then just use the solid tools to intersect them. So let's start with the top shape. And again, I'm gonna turn perspective off and draw something like that. And then something like this and offset it the same amount. Then I will find that top end point. In this case, I'm not, see how it, it I'm not finding the top end point here. So it's more sort of one of these. And then I will mirror just that single line, mirror copy based on the center point and trace over that edge to tell SketchUp, please fill in that surface. Now to do the inside, why don't we take and we'll roughly, I don't, I don't know how, how much that was. Let's say in this case, let's make it two feet on each side. And then draw an arc, say from here to something like that. And then from here, we'll find that center point, draw another arc, create that line. And now that we've broken that surface, we can mirror that whole surface. Again, find by the center point here. And it looks like I mirrored two of them. Let me undo that. I'll make sure that, that I'll give myself a little reference. So select this, flip it, flip a copy. Perfect. If all these edges work, we should be able to erase these extra edges we don't need. Sometimes uh, you probably experienced in SketchUp. We have to do a little bit of uh, fin finessing to get it to uh, connect the surfaces, but we're good. So we can pull that up. And again, uh, I've got these edges, but let me just group this and run the cleanup extension. That's one. Now the other one we need is from the side. So I'm gonna look at this from the front and say what we wanna do is something roughly like this. And if I, let me move this guy out of the way. If I look at this in x-ray mode, I, I think I want this, um, this piece to start a little bit beyond the, our, our cylinder area here. So something like that, I'll select these, use the offset tool, offset them a little bit and create half of this. If I use the arc tool. I can draw one arc tangent on both sides and I should be able to double click on these other corners to replicate that same arc. And then if I use the flip command, draw a line, something like this. And again, draw an arc here. And double click. That will do it. So let's pull that out, make it a group. I'll turn X-ray back off and turn perspective back on. Oops, not shadows. Let's move this. 
Now it looks like I made it a little too big, so let's extend this up. But that should do it. And if you know, if we want, we adjust sort of where this falls, but let's take these two and intersect them. And if we're not happy with those results, of course, we go back in and finesse the shapes that we created. But that's the idea. Maybe I'll run cleanup. Maybe I'll run the bevel extension. But that is a bit of how you might create some uh, shapes like this, some different forms. Just think about them. Like, can we intersect different shapes together? Um, what, uh, what tools would best create? some interesting shapes so like i say try it and uh, see what you can do all right I, I know that was sort of fast and a, a little hectic but hopefully it gives you some ideas and again just go out there find other ideas uh, other examples of what people are creating in other software and think how would i create that in sketchup be careful again it's not an apples to apples comparison in many cases but it's an interesting exercise to practice on. Uh, and like I said, this was um, based on a comment. So again, please let us know your feedback, your comments, and your suggestions for other topics that we could cover in the Skill Builders. Uh, we would love to have that uh, feedback from you. Thank you all. And as always, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.